It is finally time to crown our champion. The blue ribbon ball point, the penultimate pen, the winning writing instrument, the stage manager's right or left hand pen. My name is Kent and this is your half hour call. Attention cast and crew, this is your half hour call. Half hour to the top of the show, half hour. What is up, friends, and welcome to the finals of our March Madness Pen Showdown. If you missed part one, we are putting your top eight favorite pens and six store brands head-to-head -to, -head to finally determine, beyond a shadow of a doubt, which pen is actually the best. But if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kent, and you are watching Half Hour Call, where we're dedicated to shining the spotlight on technical theater. So if you want how-to videos, interviews with industry leaders, and general theater updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video. Let's see where we we stand now that we're going into round two. We have the Pilot G2, the Sharpie S Gel, the Bic Gelosity, the Papermate Ink Joy, Staples OptiFlow, Office Depot Callisto, Walmart Pen and Gear, and by popular demand, we have saved the Sakura Micron from round one. It will be going against the Walmart Pen and Gear in round two. Let's dive right in. Round one tested comfort and extra features, and now round two is gonna be a bit of a smear campaign. And by that, I mean we're testing which pens make the least mess. For each pen, I'll make a dot on the paper every three seconds. Then I'll use a small piece of paper towel to wipe from the oldest dot to the newest dot. And each dot that does not smear is worth one point. And if you're like me, the most frustrating part of a pen is line goop. So I'll also be drawing a one foot line with the ruler and the pen that has the most buildup will lose three points. The pen with the most points at the end of the round moves on to the semifinals. We're once again kicking things off with the Pilot G2. All right, that is 10. Wiping. Oh, they all smeared. Every single dot smeared. Okay, Pilot G2 gets zero points for this round. All right, and it is going against the Sharpie S Gel. Let's get started. One, two, three, clean paper towel. Whoa, the Sharpie S gel gets 10 points. None of them smeared, how about that? Uh, which means that I will still do the line test, but um, the, Sharp, the Pilot G2 cannot come back from a 10 point lead. I'm going to do one line that is 10 inches and then wipe it next to it to see the goop. Not a ton of goop, and also not a great line. All right, the line is much better, and no goop. So the Sharpie S gel wins on both counts. Uh, so the Sharpie S gel now has a total of 13 points, and the G2 has a total of zero, meaning the Sharpie S gel will be moving on to the semifinals. Next up is the Bic Gelosity versus the Papermate Ink Joy. Here we go. Wipe. All right, so it looks like we've got one two with smears, only two out of 10. Um, so it gets a total of eight for this first part of the round. And now it is time to test the Papermate Ink Joy. Three, one. Wow, there's a little bit of a smear, a tiny, you can barely see it, but there's a tiny smear on this one. Um, so it gets nine out of 10 for this first part. And let's see how they stack up with the line test. 10 inches of line, followed by a smear of goop. Mm, there's quite a bit of goop, but there's a really solid line. And now for the Papermate Ink Joy, same test. solid line and less line goop. So the Papermate Ink Joy beats out the Bic Gelosity and will be moving on to the semifinals. Now we've got the battle of the office supply stores. We have Staples OptiFlow versus the Office Depot Callisto. Let's get started. Three. So it bled through all of them, but the first one 
The Staples OptiFlow gets one point for this round. Three, wipe. Ooh, okay. So we've got um, almost all of them. This one's got some, this one's got some, this one's got some, and this one's got some. So it's got uh, only four of them smeared. So it's got six points. Wow. All right, starting off with the Staples OptiFlow. A really nice line. Check the line goop, not too bad. For the Office Depot Callisto. And check the line goop. Almost exactly the same. I'm going to call that a tie. So no additional points are awarded, uh, but that still means that with six points versus the one point for the Staples OptiFlow, the Office Depot Callisto moves on to the semifinals. All right, friends, now we are moving on to the final pairing of the quarterfinals. We have the pen and gear from Walmart and the one that you all voted to save, which is the Sakura Micron. Three. What? Okay, so we do have a little bit, not much, not much at all for the Walmart pen and gear, which is shocking. Three. There is only three with a little bit of smear, so that means they've got a score of seven right now. All right, now one of the people who voted for the Sakura Micron specifically said that it is great for left-handers because it doesn't smudge. So this is the perfect test for that. Three, smudge. Hmm, it appears that it smudges quite a bit, actually. Every single one of them smudged every single every single dot so it actually gets zero points in this round um but let's see how they compare for the line test all right we're starting with the walmart pen and gear one two why am i counting i don't count for this one pretty good line little bit of line goop but not much this is pretty good i'm shockingly impressed with the walmart pen and gear pen. All right, Sakura Micron, let's see. I'm expecting this to be a really pleasant line um, because it's more of an art-based pen. Actually, it's not a great line. Um, there is zero line goop, uh, but it's not a great line. So I'm actually gonna still give the bonus point to the Walmart Pen and Gear brand. And the Walmart Pen and Gear moves on to the semifinals. Just as a reminder, you have until Friday to enter the Symposium Sweepstakes, where you can win free registration to the 2021 Broadway Stage Management Symposium. Visit kentjamescollins.com sweepstakes to enter and for official rules. All stage managers are welcome at the Broadway Stage Management Symposium, where Broadway stage managers share their experience and expertise on the art and craft of stage management. Now in its seventh year, this professional development and networking conference also includes an expo filled with new tech for stage managers, as well as numerous opportunities to network and meet stage managers from around the world. The four-day conference is packed with insights, information, and inspiration for you to learn, grow, and connect. So a huge thank you to Matt Stern and the Broadway Stage Management Symposium for sponsoring the sweepstakes. Make sure you check out the links in the description below to register for the symposium and to learn more and visit kentjamescollins.com slash sweepstakes by this Friday, May 19th in order to enter. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited. For the semi-finals, these pens will have to commit their blood, sweat, and tears, but mostly blood, and by blood I mean bleeding through. So I'll color a small circle on this stack of papers for 20 seconds. Whichever pen bleeds through the least number of papers moves on to the championship. First up, we have the Sharpie S Gel. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. This is the Papermate Ink Joy. All right. So they both bled through to the second page, um, but the, the Sharpie S Gel has more ink on the second page than it does, uh, than, than the Ink Joy does. So the Sharpie S Gel has been eliminated. It was a good fight. And the Papermate Ink Joy moves on to the finals. Now I've gotta be honest, I didn't think either of these pens were going to be in the semi-finals. Um, but surprisingly, we have the Office Depot Callisto and the Walmart Pen and Gear competing in the semi-finals. So let's start with the Callisto. And now it is time to do the Walmart 
pen and gear. All right, here we go. First page, lots of bleed through on both. Second page, again, no bleed through. I guess I have to do a dot for 30 seconds. Finally, they're different. The um, Office Depot Callisto has bled through two pages. Walmart Pen and Gear has only bled through one, which means the Walmart Pen and Gear is moving on to compete in the finals. All right, friends, we have successfully come to the grand finale of the 2021 March Madness. What is the definitive, scientifically proven best pen of all time of the 14 that we are testing? What started with 14 is now down to two and it is time to crown our champion. And to do that, we will not only be taking into account the previous three rounds of competition, but we will also be testing the pen's longevity. So they are starting out with their totals. Here's how we got to where we are. The Ink Joy won round one with seven points, round two with 12 points, and round three with 10 points, which gives it a grand total so far of 29 points. The Walmart Pen and Gear Pen started round one with eight points, and round two with 10 points, and round three with 10 points, giving it a 28 point start in this round. So it is truly anybody's game. I'll be writing a repetitive short sentence until the pen runs out of ink. Each page will be one point. I'll also be keeping tabs of how many times I have to do the little scribble to get the ink flowing again, and the pen will lose one point each time that I have to do that. The finals are also cumulative, so all of the points earned thus far from round one through this round will be factored in. Let's say a quick prayer for my wrist, and let's get started with the Papermate Ink Joy. Four and a half hours, um, but the Papermate Ink Joy has finally ran out of ink, and I am going to count the pages. Forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. Almost exactly 50 pages. So the Papermate Ink Joy has 77 points. All right, friends, so it is the next day, which means we are starting with the Walmart pen and gear for the final test of the entire competition. dead. There we go. After two hours, we've got one, two, three, 17, 18, 19, 20. So with 20 pages and 28 points, that gives us a grand total for the Walmart pen and gear of 48 points, which means the Papermate Ink Joy is definitively, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the best pen of all time of the 14 that we studied. So if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, give me a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because I am giving you a thumbs up right now and after six hours straight of writing, it hurts to do that. So please give me one in return. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Kent and this has been your half hour call. This snazzy feathered production assistant, as well as other cool stage management merchandise is now available at kentjamescollins.com store. Link in the description below.